dadabo shiha davada basho mako dia vadabo shekata hi vadabo shiha ndabari adoshe hi barono santa nabari edana no sheda honda baraba come on let the heavens hear your voice it's all about jesus it's all about jesus no one else but jesus it's all about jesus it's all about jesus it's all about jesus it's all about jesus we adore you we worship you we worship you Reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me. The twenty first century church has been taught to count our blessings. Words like God is about to let you overtake. And where they rejected you, I see the Lord lifting you up. Let me tell you something. If anybody comes to you preaching to you about dreams and breakthroughs and vision, pause for a minute and ask the preacher, what will be the cause to that vision? Because every person can have vision and every person can have a dream. But what will cause somebody to bring their dream into realization is knowing how much it will cost them. The church has taught us to be Christians, but they have not taught us the cost to be a Christian. Jesus told them, for you to follow me, you must deny yourself. And he said, carry your cross. A lot of people desire things, but they don't take into consideration the cost. The Bible said, and a light shone and took him off his horse. Anybody riding on an evil horse, taking you to the opposite direction of your destiny may the light intercept it now in the name of jesus what an exciting moment i welcome you to this great mountain of prayer this is the Weekend Springs online edition, and I'm always excited to come your way into fellowship with you, to lift up holy hands. We are living in a very precarious era, an era that has been hijacked. Expertise and experts are crying for knowledge. We cannot really phantom what has hit the world. Economies are crumbling. Leaders do not know the next line of action. We are in a very turbulent and a very volatile era. But guess what? Daniel, that apocalyptic prophet, gave us a peep into the future when he declared that they that know their God, they shall be strong. In the midst of a pandemic and chaos, they shall do exploits. I welcome you to your season of exploits and I welcome you to the mountain of prayer. I'm excited that within this season and in this hour, we must dig deep. We must be able to navigate and capture the very, not the only, the mind of God only, but to literally get to the heartbeat of God. And in this night, I want to bring something to your spiritual attention. Declared by the man who was able to win the heart of God. I'm talking about the great king, the great psalmist, the great prophet. De Jesus was called the son of David. And today we want to borrow from one of the famous, if not the most famous, arguably, psalmist of, of all times. Psalm 23. Our emphasis is on verse 4. Can I read to your hearing? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. My emphasis tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is on the valley. The Bible or scriptures sometimes points to nature. 
where Jesus said, consider the bears of the air. Behold, the lilies of the field. It was scripture pointing to nature. But when the great wise men that came from the east followed the star, when they came to Jerusalem to inquire where the Hamashiach will be born, they were directed to scripture. So nature star led them to scripture and they found a king. This interplay of nature and scripture is what led one great man to say, and I quote, the scientist interprets nature, the preacher interprets scripture. So the valley is a prophetic representation of something deeper because in physical terms, a valley is simply the land between two mountains. But whatever lies in between is always a bone of contention. Whatever lies in between, God said, don't touch all the trees, but don't touch the trees that is in the middle. Whatever lies in between is called the mystery of the middle. Jesus stood in the middle of two thieves, the bone of contention. One said, if you are really the Messiah, save yourself and save us. So the middle is always the bone of contention. If that becomes your premise, then we can now conclude and say that the valley is the place of warfare. The valley is the place of contention. The valley is the place between two mountains. The valley is the place where things are fought over and decisions are made within the contest of the valley. In Genesis 14, the verse number one to three, and I read, and it came to pass in the days of Amar Raphael, the king of Shena, Arok, the king of Elessa, Kidolama, the king of Elam, Tedal, the king of Goyem, that they made war with Barad, the king of Sodom, and with Belshah, the king of Gomorrah, Shenab, the king of Adama, Shemaba, the king of Zobeim, and the king of Bela, that is Zohar. And all this came as allies to the valley of Sedeim. This brings to our attention that when you talk about the valley, you are dealing with warfare. The problem with our generation is that faith does not negate warfare, but faith empowers you to war properly. Prophecy does not negate warfare, but prophecy actually ignites you to win the battles of life from an advantageous point, which is the point of God. The last time I was talking and I made a point and the person said, that's a good point. I said, no, that is a God point. They are good points and they are God points. You must always delve into the God point to give you an advantage over every situation. The word declares that they gathered in that particular valley for warfare. So the first contest that I want to bring to your attention when you are dealing with the valley of death is the valley of Sedeim. The scripture posits in Genesis 14, the verse number eight, that the kings gathered for war and it is within the context of this war that the nephew of Abraham, Lot, was captured. It is within the context of this war that Abraham lost his nephew to the kings that came against him. So the valley of Sedeim is when you come under an attack indirectly. It's an attack on family. It's an attack on relationships. It's an attack on neighborhoods. It's an attack on loved ones. It's an attack on neighbors. It is not necessarily an attack on you, but it's an attack on the things around you. Sometimes when the devil cannot hunt you down, he will hunt something that is connected to you and that will arrest your attention and render you incapacitated. But tonight, it is my prayer that God will bring a supernatural empowerment. The Bible declares that when Abraham had the situation, you see, it's not what happens, it's what you do 
after what happens. When Abraham heard that the nephew Lot had been captured, the Bible said within his own household, he had 318 trained men. I pray tonight that you become a student of warfare. Abraham anticipated that at any point in time, the enemy could just release an onslaught. He was ever ready. Paul said to Timothy, be prepared in season and out of season. The reason why we are wallowing now and we are staggering now and we can't find the rhythm to what God is saying is that we are not prepared for what has come upon us. But I pray tonight that we will be trained for warfare. I pray tonight that the spirit of the warrior will come upon you, that you are forever ready to pounce on the enemy. The Bible said when Abraham had it, he raised an army. I pray that you'll be part of that raised army tonight. I pray that the spirit of God will empower you and enlist you in that army, the army that can recover. The Bible said, and they pursued the kings. Ah, and they caught up with them. They defeated them and he brought back Lot, the wife, the children, and the goods. I pray tonight that the same speed that God granted to Abraham, the same speed will rest upon you. I pray tonight that whatever came before you were born, whatever tormented your bloodline, your tribe, whatever tormented your ethnicity, may God grant you the speed to pursue, the speed to overtake, and the speed to recover. Shout in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare as a priest and a king seated in the heavenly place, I decree and declare that any onslaught, any attack on my loved ones, on my friends, on my family, in my neighborhood, upon my tribe, upon my ethnicity, upon my country, say I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, let it be arrested. Say I recover. By prayer I recover. By prayer I recover. Any loved one kept under the clutches of alcoholism, under the clutches of drug addiction, under the clutches of immorality. Say I break it loose. Say I open every prison where captives have been held. Say as a child of the living God. Say as a priest over my environment. I decree and make a demand that wherever the enemy has kept loved ones and friends and family, say in the name of Jesus, let those doors be open. Lift up your voice in prayer. Penny Kanadus Rantona Mama Mama Shire Rantabala Bagadesh Rekabala Balabaha Mantobale Kanoa Release the captives now. Release the captives now. We make a demand now. Release our children. Release our loved ones. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We lift up prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare any attack that is directed towards my household to distract me, to cause depression, to change my focus. Say in the name of Jesus, let that appointment, let that attack ah, be intercepted by the shield of faith. Say, I declare every fairy that shot against my house, shot against my family, shot against my siblings, shot against my aunt or uncle, shot against my nephew or niece, shot against my grandfather or grandmother. Let it be overturned. Say, we break it into pieces. We shatter that appointment. We command that incubator to catch fire. Any desire of the enemy to pray on our family. Let it be destroyed. I release my husband. I release my wife. I release my children by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. We want to push it. Talk about the man Job. Ka, pam, pan, ka, pan, tomakua. The man Job. Penua, kanto, the man Job. Ah, in one day, the enemy attacked everything that Job had worked for. And yet, the attack was not directed to him, but the things around him. 
And the Bible said, the devil confessed something that as long as that thing is in position, the enemy cannot attack. He said, have thou not built an edge? That was, that was demonic confession. It was the devil confessing about what God had done. That was putting him at bay that he couldn't attack Job. Tonight, the same edge, pan takaduas. When you are dealing with these forces of the valley, the valley of Sedeim, you must engage the edge of Yahweh. In one day, Job lost everything. In one day, a man can be reduced to a piece of bread. It is that force that operates within the domain of the valley of Sedeim. But the devil said, before the attack, he said there was an edge. Tonight, we decree and declare, say in the name of Jesus, I engage, I activate the edge of fire, the edge of protection, the edge that is not penetratable. Say, I enforce the walls of fire, the gates of fire, the doors of fire. Say, any demonic entity that is sent to attack my walls, may the divine surveillance system of heaven expose them. May it arrest them in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree and no flying zone over my house. Any force of darkness that flies by night, nor runs by day. Say tonight, by the agency of prayer, let their works be destroyed. Let their works be destroyed. Any demonic surveillance system against my loved ones, say in the name of Jesus, catch fire now. Lift up your voice in prayer. Panadaya, Rantama Gula Gadi, Rabalama Gabala Gadia, Rebabala Gatuas, Rabala Gada, Rekamanahai, Rekamanamasua, Rebabala Gadia, Rekabalaga, Rebala Masha, Rekaba, Rekabanama, Ranamahai, Re, Re, Kesh, Panima Gadia, Rabalaba, Rebalaba. Rebalamaha, Rebalamaha, Rebalagamaha, Rebalamaha, Rabale, Rabe, 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 break. There, 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 go, go, there, go, there, yes, Holy Ghost, Naomi. He entered into a foreign land with a husband and two sons. He returned to the place of his origin with nothing. Certain demonically initiated movements can cause you to lose what God has given to you. We want to lift up prayer that any movement that will cause us to lose what we have labored for, men have changed contracts, changed location, even changed marriage, and only to come down like they were never up. Say, I decree and declare any movement that will cause me to lose what is rightfully mine, that will cause me to abort my destiny, my seed, my divine assignment, my vision, my divine programming, said tonight by the agency of divine enforcement, by the agency of divine direction, that appointment with that demonic movement that will cause me to lose, it is canceled. It is terminated. It is cancelled. It is terminated. Say, I will not move when God has not moved. Say, the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of cloud by night or fire by night. Say, I declare any, any movement that will cause me to lose my harvest. Any movement that will cause me to lose my labor. Say in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Lift up your voice in prayer. Any 
demonic movement. Talk about the patriarch Jacob. The Bible said he loved the son of his old age. His name was Joseph. And the word declares that he gave him a coat of many colors. The brethren took that coat, spilled it with blood, tore it into pieces, dipped it in the blood of an animal. They brought it to the father and said, Joseph is no more. These are demonic forces that work with the forces within your house. Hey, Panda Bagadu. For them to access, they need insiders. It will be an injustice if you don't pray against it. Any demonic insiders that works with outsiders to bring shame to a house, to bring shame to your life, the brethren connived and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites, who sold Joseph to the Egyptians. It was a chain of demonic manipulation. And tonight, I want us to exit those demonic forces placed within families to sell our destinies. Are you ready? Are you ready? They will not attack you, but they will connive with other external forces to attack the family. These are sell out within the family. Jesus said, maybe somebody saying this is Old Testament. Jesus said, a man's enemy shall be of his own household. Sometimes the enemy gains access because of insiders within the family. But tonight, Amakua, any hidden agenda, agent, or personality within our family setup, ready to sell out the destinies of family members, ready to bring evil report, ready to make out lies. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare any inside agent working with outside agents to bring false reports into my house, false reports of health, false reports of finances, false reports of divorce, family cycles, demonic manipulations. Say in the name of Jesus, as I lift up my voice in prayer tonight, I break their connection. I dismantle the device and the divisor. I infuse the power of the Holy Ghost and I block any manipulation over my family, over my house, over my loved ones, over my neighborhood, over my relatives, and even over my country. Lift up your voice in prayer now. Bam Tony Micaiah.
Rabio, 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 Tinua, Ia, Dania. Praise God. Talk about the man called Jairus. He was a soldier. He, Pantenuatai, a soldier. Hmm. A soldier. But the Bible said his daughter was sick unto death. And he knew that the physicians could not help. Is that not the situation of the world now? <laughs> if you are not the one sick, somebody close to you is sick. He petitioned the house of the great physician, the balm of Gilead. The Bible said he went to Jesus and said, Master, have mercy on my daughter. He was petitioning the office of the great intercessor, Christ. Can you have mercy? Jairus was not sick. He's a soldier. He could even contain the pain. But this pain was indirect. It was the daughter. Jesus looked at him and said, let's go. Jairus said, no. I understand the dynamics of spiritual warfare. You don't have to be in a place to change the situation because words can travel where our feet cannot go. Tonight, are you ready to release your words? The words can travel 15 years ahead of your life. Man, they can do as I am. The words can cross continents. <laughs> you can be in one location and control things in another location by your words. I decree and declare now, as your hands are lifted, will you join me now? Say in the name of Jesus, I send forth my word the same way Jesus sent forth a word of power, of authority into the house of Jairus. Say by the spiritual portal of prophecy. Say I enter by my words into my house. Say anything that has been held on the bed of affliction, on the bed of shame, on the bed of failure. Say by my word, I enter through the agency of the prophetic and I decree and declare that anything that has been held in the name of Jesus by the clutches of the valley of Sedaim, say release, shall release, shall release. Lift up your voice in prayer now. Pantala Magaya. Rabba Balaba Shabayaba. Rabba Babalaba. Rabba Balaba. Raka Papaladaba. Reka Balaba Shua. Reba Balada. Rabba Laba Sha. Reka Balaba. Rabba Laba. Reka Balaba. Reba Baba. Rabba Baba. Rabba Baba. Reka Baba. Rabba Baba. Rabba Baba. Rabba Baba. Dumaya, Dumaya. Dumaya, 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 Penwa, Paya, Re, Zenia, Bawa, Chuck. Let's talk about Mary and Martha, Kansua. They sent a word to Jesus. There's something under attack. Your man that you love most is sick. This is the attack on two forms. It's the attack on Jesus because Lazarus is his friend. <laughs> and it's also the attack on Mary and Martha because Lazarus is their brother. <laughs> but Jesus, when he heard that his friend had died in his absence, he said, take me to the graveyard tonight through the agency of the prophetic by the efficacy of the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous man. The fervency of the righteous prayer. 
I want us to speak to the graveyards that have swallowed things that you love. When they came to Jesus, the scripture posits, they said, the man whom thou lovest is sick. Then when he came, what he loved was not sick, it was dead. But Jesus wouldn't give up. He went to the graveyard tonight with hands lifted across board. We are speaking to the graveyards that have swallowed the things that we love. Ah, like how God carried the spirit of Ezekiel into the valley of dry bones. Tonight, in a dry bone, swallowed by Hades, Anything declared dead in your life, dead in your marriage, dead in your finance, dead wombs, dead finances, dead ministries, dead gates. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, say I decree and declare by the word of my testimony that travels without restriction. Say I decree and declare every graveyard that has swallowed the things that I love connected to my destiny, to my career, to my ministry, to my marriage. Say by prayer, I command that graveyard, vomit out what you have swallowed. Lazarus, come forth. My money, come forth. My relationship, come forth. My anointing, come forth. Anything that is designed that the enemy has swallowed. Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? We commanded now, as Jesus called for Lazarus, we call for those loved ones. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice. Oh, Baba, Kabindo Bandesh, Brakatoma Gobanandos, Bremba Baba Lababas, Andalaya, Brantoba Yagaba, Brantoba Lagaba, Brantora Magaba, Brampala Gada, Pinia Sumagaya, Ebala, Rabaya, Hemaya, Dega, Brando, Brandos, Brio, Brio, Kidio, Zinio, Apilio, Pambo, Hemaya, Gums, Ibendis, Beoa, Bamboya, Bandaya, Bandaya, Rekaya, Bandaya, Zomo, Abibaya, Katiniaya, Tomaya, Bantoya, Rebala, Rebaya, Zenkaya, Re, Reba, 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 in the name of Jesus. Let me draw the curtain down this valley. So I talk about the psycho Phoenician woman that came to Jesus. He petitioned Jesus the same way Jairus petitioned Christ. But Jesus said, how can I give the bread of the children to the dogs? But the woman said, in this situation, I don't even need the bread. I need the crumbs. What we are looking for is not the full loaf. It's just the crumbs. To pull people connected to us. Sometimes we don't need the loaf. All we need is the crumbs. The woman said, the crumbs, the broken pieces still fall to the ground for the dogs to eat. I prophesy through the agency of prayer that you don't need the loaf, just the crumbs. It's bringing every demonic attack over your house to an end. The Bible said, and Jesus spoke a word again. And the Bible said, in that very hour, are we in an hour? Yes. In that same hour, the daughter was released. I'm talking about an hour miracle. Lift up your hands now. As we release that prophetic word, an hour miracle, this same hour of prayer, this same hour of intercession, the crumbs are solving that situation. Say in the name of Jesus, by prayer, I decree and declare 
that let the bread of heaven bring healing to our communities, to our cities, to our hospital, to our schools, around us, within us, in front, the back, the sideways. Say, I declare, let the bread fill Ghana. Let the crumbs even feed those who are our neighbors. Let it bring healing. Let it bring restoration. Let it bring empowerment. Lift up your voice in prayer now. Pandaya Baha. Rabba Balaba Banto Balaga. Reba Balaga Baluata. Reba Balaga Babantoa. Penny Magadaya. Don't Debaga. Don't take a Balagaba. Don't take a Balaga. Bampola Macopa. Reka Baladoas. Pintamaya. Antonia. Panua Be. Pampanua. Pimpanua. Antonia. In the name of Jesus. Bampala Gadia. Lebro Tabolo. Recabalabas, Recabelia, in the name of Jesus, Rotobalabos, Rotobalabos, Robalabos, 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 Rampalaba, 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 Paya, I know you are yearning for more because the spirit of supplication has been engaged. But time is not on our side. Therefore, if you want us to continue as the Bible declares, pray without season, that we are not season. We are going offline, but not off prayer. Praise God. I know you want to join us. Let me extend a beautiful God anointed invitation to you and your household. Where is this ministry located physically? Let me help you out. You have your pen? You have your paper? Do you have your tablet? Find Typha Junction. Ask for spot M bar stop. You are looking for the Prayer Hub Global, which is situated just behind that timber market or that sawmill on that beautiful highway. You come to our great sanctuary, the Revival Tabernacle, and you will meet us on the altar of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. If you could not recall what I said or recall it, there are numbers rolling on your screen. Pick one, call now, who attend to your needs. Guess what? If you are technologically inclined, just type in Prayer Hub Global and it will appear on your Google map. Just click on it, link it to your driver's app, link it to any of these transport apps online and it will take you right to the temple and where we fellowship. I'm excited and I'm glad that I will meet you and we can stand together in fellowship and in prayer. May the good Lord that gives us advantage over every attack of the things that we love and the things that surround us give you an advantage over the valley of Sedeim. I love you and I can't wait to fellowship with you. Till we meet again, keep the fire burning and let prayer be offered everywhere, giving thanks to God. Bless you. Bye-bye.